Amit all these controversies, there's some good news as well. The Indian space agency ISRO has taken a huge step towards manned flights. In fact, uh, ISRO has successfully test, oh. tested the launch and recovery of a crew recovery module, a oh. process critical so to any gone. manned space flight. The latest version of the ISRO Warhorse GSLV Mark III took off with its payload at 9.30 a.m from the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. Less than six minutes into the flight, the module was separated from the rocket. Three minutes later, the parachutes were deployed. And another 13 minutes later, the mission had been announced a success, with the module splashing down into the Bay of Bengal near the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The performance of the two solid stages S-200 as well as the liquid core stage L-110 was as expected. We also had another experimental module in this mission, that is the unmanned crew module test to understand the re-entry characteristics. That also has worked extremely well. The crew module has splashed down as expected in the Bay of Bengal. This experimental flight marks a quantum shift in rocket technology for India. The flight tests the ability of the crew module to separate from the rocket its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere with thermal resistance, the parachute deployment and the aero braking systems. Not only that, the new Mark III rocket itself weighing above 630 tons is capable of taking payloads of up to 4 tons a new record for ISRO. <coughs> Let's get in a word from our correspondent Shesha Reddy, who's with us uh, live from Chennai this morning. Shesha, another huge success for ISRO. Well, exactly, see, it's a huge success for uh, the Indian Space Research Organization after having uh, successfully launched the Mars mission. Uh, we do know, uh, you know, in this especially that uh, Mars mission had put India on the global map. And yes, success uh, quite after uh, uh, the Mangalyaan is, yes, of course, it's a positive note uh, and, and spreading across a positive message uh, across the country that, yes, ISRO is capable of doing something that uh, the other countries have not mastered. Remember, uh, you know, even they, when they put the Mangalyaan on the global map that that is when all all this uh, country started looking about india like you know even india can master so this yes especially having mastered because uh, also to give a quick point that uh, this particular satellite gslv mark 3 is the heaviest uh, uh, satellite till date uh, so keeping a lot of series of things yes uh, isro has mastered something like this is something that that is, is, is seem to be a positive uh, to, to to feel uh, excited about uh, for the en entire country right and uh Shisha, we also see lots of times children dreaming about going into space uh, with the successful launch of uh, the crew module. This is uh, likely to become a reality soon. Well, we're exactly see me because this is something that you know people have always dreamt of. Uh, you know, as far as uh, when, when these children, you know, during a recent visit uh, at the ISRO, when when uh, people were allowed to uh, go near the module where exactly the experimentation is done, that was something that uh, India always wanted to master. India has the best scientists uh, uh, in the country. And, you know, after mastering uh, the Mangalyaan and this, of course, uh, uh, you know, having a series of back-to-back -back successes as far as GSLV Mark III mission is concerned. Yes, it, it is of of course, uh, given a great positive note for a lot of uh, aspiring scientists, in fact, uh, who always wanted to be a part of it. But yes, now India will have to uh, work on this for the next uh, few, few more years to uh, send astronauts back to the space. Because remember, this is a successful thing what India has mastered. And this, of course, will uh, uh, send across a large and bigger message to uh, the global audience. See me? Absolutely. Another huge success by ISRO. India managing to carve out a niche for itself. Uh in that uh, elite group of countries